Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You already know what time it is, man. It's me, PLA to the Zizzle. And you already know, man, we keep it fresh, we keep it funky. I got my brother in the building, man. Shout out my brother, S. Dot. What it do, S. Dot? What up, what up, what up? Your diggums? Yeah, your diggums. Yo, S. Dot. What's up? We got a very special guest, my man. Yes, we do. You know what? Stop the music, please. Matter of fact, let's do this like this. I got to warm this up real quick, ladies and gentlemen. I need a round of applause. Somebody give me a round of applause. Let's go. This guy goes by the Dennis the Menace of Magic Magic. You can see him on various TV series, man. Hold on, hit that horn back for me, please. Superstar. I'm talking about a superstar, a host, comedian. Been on Reno 911, the last comic standing. That's my show. Celebrity blind date. War of the Worlds 2, all kind of things, man. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna do it like this. Bring the music back in, man. Let's give it up for our man, Murray. So, Chuck. What's up, guys? How you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is a vibe right now. This is a vibe right now. As die. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad he, he can make it. He's yes, like, yes. This man is busy. Yes, Thanks for yes. having me. Thanks man, for having me. Thank you for coming to the show, taking the time, man. Love in the studio. Thank you, bro. Thank Dude, you. Appreciate nice. it, man. Me and S. Dot do what we can. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Yes, sir. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You can hit us up on uh, Facebook, YouTube, chime in. Let us know what type of live comments you got if you want to ask Murray something. And uh, we're going to get it going, though. Because I know I got a lot of questions. You got a lot of <laughs> questions. You know what? <laughs> Before we even go further, man, I want to just say congratulations on the uh, wedding. Oh, yeah. Thank absolutely. you. The Thank marriage, you, man. man. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, we had about two months ago, and, and it, we had a great time, man. We had about 400 people there. And nice. Very Vegas, you yeah. know? So yeah. It was, it was good, man. It looked like a good time, man. Yeah, and I'm still married. <laughs> yeah. they, said, they said it wouldn't last, right? Two and a half months. Right. <laughs> That's what they said about me, too. And See? look, ta-da. See? <laughs> hey, hey. Still the game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, it, it looked like it was a great wedding, man. It looked like you guys are a real fun, happy couple, man. Um, I was going through uh, some of your stuff on the, um, Instagram, and I was like, damn, Murray, okay? And then I was like, damn, Murray got a lot of naked pictures <laughs> out here, baby! That's so funny. <laughs> Everyone brings that up. It's, it's so funny. People who came to our wedding, they were like, this is the most clothes we've ever seen you guys ever wear. <laughs> like, correct. <laughs> I, well, might as well do it while I can, because, you know. That yeah, part. that's what's up, that man. Part. That's what's up, man. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, you have your own show on the Strip, uh, Tropicana. Man, man can you... Uh, let us know just how how is that to have your own show on the strip? Mm-hmm. It's you know I'm very fortunate, man. You know this is a tough town. This is kind of like you know you want to open up a bank on Wall Street, not yeah. the easiest street to open a bank on. Right, you know? right. And that's what the Las Vegas strips like. All these shows, you know, everyone wants to work Vegas. You uh-huh. know? It doesn't matter where you go in any part of the world. You don't need to say the country or the state. You just need to say Las Vegas. Dang. Everyone knows where it is. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. So um, so we're very lucky, and to have a show on the strip. And make it last is hard, you know, because there's a lot of money people spend uh, on the strip and they don't make it back, you know. Right. Yeah. Like Broadway, people don't realize there's a lot of shows we never hear that don't make it on Broadway. Yeah. Be- which because we don't live there now, you know, you don't see it. But in Vegas, we know what comes and goes, don't we? Right. Yeah. Right, right. So yeah, so I'm really honored to be there, and it's, it's been cool. Man, that's what's up, man. Um, I also saw uh, 2018. You got your own day. My what? Your own, your own day, your own proclamation day, man. Oh yeah, day, my, man? yeah. I actually forgot. Wow. <laughs> I forgot my own day. Yeah. About my own day. I got, I got, I got a lot day. of things going on. Yeah. 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 Oh shit! Day. I forgot it is. <laughs> Like, <laughs> he be at make, McDonald's on his day. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yeah. What is that like, man? I, 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 apparently, I forgot I had a day, so that's exactly what it's like. Uh, what day is that? Yeah, it's my birthday. It's, it's November, November 25th. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, so they gave me that day. I guess it was because I was at the Shrop Canada for so long, or I've been in town still working, you know, that long. And then a surprise at our wedding, they gave us another day. This I do remember because it was a few months ago, Mr. Mrs. Sawchuck Day. 
And so wow. on our wedding, and I guess the mayor surprised us with that. That's and I was dope. like, really? And yeah, so it's kind of nice. So I get, I guess I have two days. That's what's up. Yeah. So wow. what do you do on your day? No, good, I, like, I, like, good question. <laughs> That's a good question because oh, I have no idea. Oh, I mean, it's your birthday. Yeah, well, it's my birthday, first of all. So that right, helps. That okay. makes it easy. That's good. Which I hate getting older. So my birthday, I'm kind of like, let's just hide. You know? Hey, it's, it's a just, blessing getting older. It it's is. A yeah. yeah. On, so. You're right. And yeah. it's good to be alive, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah, definitely. But still, I wish I was in. I wish I was still at 25. Good yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, you good, bro? <laughs> so, but in the, then I guess our wedding day is our wedding day. So at least it's two right. days. It's pretty hard. Like I shouldn't forget. I don't know. Right. What would you do, Sean, if you had your own day? What's Sean? That landed on my birthday? If, you, if it was your own day, they said, Sean, which is coming soon? Well, I mean, um, I mean, it's on my birthday, right? <laughs> right. Well, and it's my day. Yeah, it's sure. your day. You know what I mean? So that makes it different. A double day. So I would have to just turn up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think I, I think I have, <laughs> From morning to night, all day. Paraphernalia everywhere. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, all that. <laughs> I don't know. On my day, I probably, uh, you know, knowing me, I probably just chill out. Yeah. Yeah, I just probably want to sit out, go to the beach. And just yeah. sit out somewhere, with maybe in Hawaii, yeah, and relax. just chill out. Yeah, that's what I do you on made, my You day. made me seem like an asshole. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 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 I got you, buddy. <laughs> but no, nah, uh, that's what's up, man. That's that's definitely an honor, man. So yeah. congratulations on that, bro. Thanks. Um, I, I watched some of your videos, man. I like the one when you had put the security guard in the handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I do. was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Man, that's what's up. Um, what's some of your favorite tricks that you done? There's different, you know, doing the YouTube is so different than being on stage. You know, when YouTube, the cool thing about, you know, I've been on stage all my life and my YouTube producer, who's half my age and he's into that, he's like, dude, your stuff's good, but no one's watching it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just like a backhand compliment, right? right. Um, <laughs> so I said, what do you mean? I said, well, the stuff online, the magic's good, but it's in the wrong setting. Like it's just a proper stage, which you'd see live and that's not working anymore. Everything online, you know, it has to be voyeuristic. It has mm. to be, oh, I just caught this. Oh, I just caught that. Security cameras. Yeah. So he said, if you're if you're down, um, I'll tell you the tricks to do, and you just got to listen to me, and uh, and we'll make it work. So he started having me prank cops and parking attendants, yeah. and, and I'm like, I don't know about this, you know. I'm like, oh, you know, and go, going back, going back old school, my my mentor is really classy, and I'm thinking he'd never ever get, he'd never understand this. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. So I started doing that, and of course, because it, it created drama you know, like a car crash. Yeah, yeah. Now people watch the damn trick. Right. Same crap I'm doing on stage, right. but you do it on a street corner or you do right. it in a parking lot, it looks like yep. a brand it's, new yep. thing. So we kind of reinvented it, so. That's so, yeah. what's up, man. I, I like that one, man. Yeah. Um, you got any magician influences that you may look up to? You know, when growing up as a kid, you kind of, whoever's in that time period when you're learning stuff, kind of, you, you learn from, you know? Uh -huh. like, you know like Sean, it's, it's, for me, it was David Copperfield. You know, I was watching oh, him on nice. TV yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah. He, did, he did a special every year, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I used to watch. So yeah, he was right, sure. yeah, out of New York yeah. City in that, and he was, he was, you know, he had, he, the way he started originally, he used to have stars on his show. So he'd do a TV show, and it would, it would basically push all the season's sitcom stars and they'd come on as a guest on his hour special. Mm, so mm. they'd help him with magic. So he kind of got bumped into ABC that way. Mm. And then he got his own specials. And mm. so here he took other people's stardom and used it to become you know, a star of his own. So he has specials for every year. I saw stuff there and I thought, man, if he could do that, wh why can't I? So, yeah, facts. You know? um, so, That's what's up. So would you compare him to um, Chris Angel? No. No? No, I wouldn't. So you what's know? the difference? Um, the difference is I think their, their type of... Um, magic and the way they set their tricks up and do stuff. You know, mm. when Copperfield did his specials on TV, he never used any editing, you know, or or trigography, you know, mm. in the sense of when you watch the, the show on TV, right, when you right, saw right. him live the next night, it was the same show. Right, there was right. no, and Chris Angel, unfortunately, you watch his TV stuff and it's so edited. And it is, yeah, I can yeah, say it, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, and then you watch his live show where it isn't edited. And, you okay. know, you could. Yeah. You can make your own, I have my opinion, but you can make your own opinion, you know, check that out. But it's just yeah. something, look, you know, because TV, anyone can look amazing. I mean, facts. you know, I can, I can look like an amazing tap dance with the right editing. <laughs> yeah, right. You see me live and I look like, a, you know, look like, <laughs> look like an <laughs> elephant trying to fly, right? So, so it's one of those things where, you know, that's, TV's a beautiful thing with and the magic of editing and all that, so. Okay, know. wow. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess you know? that's when you can uh, find, like, the, I wouldn't say, um, you can say the rawness of the talent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you can see what people can do on the spot. And exactly. You know what I mean? And we see it all the time. From, we're just talking, you know, from singers to dancers to actors and stuff like that. Some actors walk in, do it in one take, walk out, right? And yeah. you're like, well, that's that's it. That's mm -hmm. live th theater. Other actors take 30 takes because it's just 
it's just the way it is. Right, 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 know? right. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So considering, I feel like um, you, it's a two part thing when you get a show from you get the comedy as well. Yeah. Um, are there comedians that you look up to as well? That yeah, I mean, I, a lot of my comedians I looked up are a little bit older. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I looked way back in the day. There was a comedian in England named Tommy Cooper. Okay, very very old. A magician comedy guy but he walked he's kind of overweight and he had a like a fez hat on with a little tassel looked ridiculous and he'd always do these tricks that never worked you know like he'd pretend to have like a rabbit on a table floating it'd be like this floating it and this rabbit would be floating in the air but as he was backing up his jacket caught the curtain you know, and catch the curtain and pull it back, and you see the stage hand with a fishing pole rolling up. A, but and then he catch it on that, purpose. Yeah, purpose. That, that was his style. Oh, okay. And he, he'd pretend to be floating the thing, and then he'd look around and see his buddy. He's, he's yeah, way, okay. way off stage, and so that and that's where I got my inspiration for magic from, comedy wise, because I yeah. I just okay. can't stand serious magicians. I mean, if you look at me, I look like a Q-tip. I mean, so <laughs> how can I be serious? But um, but. I, you know, magicians are too serious. You know, people are sitting in the audience going, they don't have a power. Right. Like, it's uh -huh. not, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, right. So that's how I'm thinking. So how can I go on stage and act that I do when I'm really thinking, this is bullshit, you know? <laughs> yeah. so, so, I, <laughs> you know so, so that's my personality on stage. Oh, that's what's up. So, do you ever just go to a show as a fan? Yeah. And watch it? Yeah, a lot of shows I go to that aren't just magic shows. Like I just saw Rolling Stones a few weeks ago here in Vegas. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, wow. I was here about a month and a half ago at Caesars, you know. Okay. And, um, I love being entertained. I love going to shows. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Um, so as a uh, you a collector as well. Yep. So what's one of the the coolest things you got in that that collection? The collector, I like that. Sounds like I'm Ted Bundy. I'm not like, <laughs> the collector. That's <laughs> funny. Like that, right? <laughs> Saw five, the collector. No, um, so yeah, I, I like old Hollywood memorabilia. I okay. love that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm really a big fan of um, respecting where I'm at here in entertainment. Like, mm -hmm. why are, why am I here? Why are we sitting here? Like, right. you know, because we were inspired by somebody. We just didn't wake up not knowing entertainment was a thing. And then I want to be, you know, on the radio. I want to be a dancer. I want to be a magician. You kind of have you see something that, that inspires you, you know. Mm -hmm. And so for me, growing up, I I was always watching people from everybody from we just talked about the Nicholas brothers on TV as yeah. tap dancers Fred Astaire um uh Phyllis Diller you mm -hmm. know um Richard Pryor I mean some legendary comics that you right. look at and that's who I kind of was influenced by getting into the business you know mm. and and growing up and I think that's I think it's important to mm -hmm. figure out where you're from and so by having that I like collecting va various things that they have so in my house I have like Phyllis Diller's cigarette holder she's very famous for holding a cigarette holder with a white cigarette at the end, you know, but she never smoked. Oh, she just held it. Yeah, and it was a white pencil crane she stuck in, stuck in, and then she always wore uh, high boots that flared out at the bottom, and these dresses that stopped just below her knee, and the sleeves that would come down and stop between her elbow and her shoulder, so she looked like a little jester. She's a very <laughs> beautiful woman. It was like Lucille Ball. People don't realize how pretty she was, mm -hmm. but she made herself look right. ridiculous, because mm. yeah. yeah. she was very gorgeous, it. though. Yeah. So you. Phyllis Diller was the same way. She had to dumb herself down a little bit, mm. and so that's, so I have her, uh, one of her uh, dresses from her July 4th show she did on TV. Oh. Uh, I have uh, Jerry Lewis's tuxedo shirt and his tux jacket. Ooh, and, that's uh, yeah. So a lot of cool things. That's so, what's up. Yeah. That's, me and my wife got something real cool. We got uh, one of Snoop Dogg's outfits. His whole no jogging suit. The oh, whole yeah. Snoop Dogg jogging suit with the house shoes and everything. That's so that's one cool. of the things that I really like that we got. We collect a few things, too. So that was actually his? Yeah, he took it off and gave it to us. Oh, Not yeah. right in front of him, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's yeah, a good rapper, but that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's up, man. I saw you um, on Pawn Stars uh, before. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lady came in, and she had a uh, a bird in the uh, cage. In a, yeah, she had the bird in the cage. You got her a slick twenty six hundred, man. Yes. Shout yes. out to you for that, bro. Well, that's what I did. She wasn't gonna See? get that, baby. <laughs> hey, you go in the back, be like, hey, okay, where's my cut? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. But you know that, that lady this year? She was actually Blackstone's wife. So Blackstone's Black a very Stone. famous magician. Yeah. Blackstone's oh, okay. senior, the old guy, was in early nineteen hundreds, and then the junior, he mm -hmm. he he passed away in the eighties, uh, early nineties, but. That his son was married to Gay Blackstone. Her name was Gay Blackstone, and she mm. was on the show. Mm. And that actual birdcage was Blackstone's birdcage. Mm, nice. So from this old kind of magician, you know, and she was the wife of his son, so it's kind of cool. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, so, okay, she wasn't gonna get that without you <laughs> yeah. coming in there, though. I know. Hey, can I ask this real quick? Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. So about uh, Pawn Stars. Mm -hmm. Um. I remember watching it, and you had the the jacket. Um. A Houdini jacket. Houdini jacket. Yes, from yeah. nineteen. 
1915, I believe. Ooh, and, wow. Uh, you know, back then, it's hard to prove these jackets were theirs, you know? Because right. like, straight jackets were all over the place, and but we were lucky enough with that jacket that if you can find a photograph of the exact item, you can compare it by stitching, by buttons, by mm. whatever the heck it is, by the grains in the wood. So we had this picture of 1951 in Buffalo in our records, and we put it beside the, the straight jacket. And the straight jacket was made by rivets. Rivets that you had to hammer. You put a piece of metal, hammer it, and it flattens mm. like a rivet. Well, back in the old days, they didn't have machines that they had people hammering it. Well, if you know when you hammer a nail, you never hammer a nail the same. Right. right, right, forensically. So these rivets were hand nailed. So I took the picture and the straight jacket, and because they were hand nailed, if I could find three rivets in a line the same as the picture, right. it was the same jacket. And right. sure enough, we actually counted the rivets, and the angles where you, the rivets were hit were identical, and the mm. amount of stitches were the same all Damn. the way down. So it was a jacket. Mm. So all of a sudden, yes. Yeah, so, so he wanted, uh, I think the guy wanted 40000 for it. That's it? Ooh, yeah. 40. And I think Rick offered 28000 or th no, thirty, and then the guy said, "No, no, no I want forty. And said, mm. "I'll give you thirty thousand. And I thought the guy should have taken it, and he said, "No." So he took the jacket back, Dang. and Rick, <laughs> Rick was frustrated because about a year later, he sold it at Christie's auction for one hundred and seventeen thousand. That's Woo! what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Isn't that That's crazy? When you said thirty, I was like, "No." Yeah, yeah I was crazy. thinking that jacket? too. No. Yeah. Right. So 30, he, yeah, ain't he should have given the forty. You know? yeah, the guy didn't need the money, so he he was a very successful man, retired. So the forty thousand mm -hmm. wasn't going to change his life. Right, right, keep right, the story, right. You know, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah, so. Should have took the cash, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We all make choices. Yep, yeah. definitely. <laughs> yeah, Rick could have doubled his money. Yep. yep. Hey, um, Christmas coming up. Um, I want to ask y'all a question because me and my wife, we was uh, we was in there putting our tree up. And I was, we end up just kept going through the channel, and then Home Alone came on, <laughs> and I couldn't even leave the room after that, man. Nah, that, you bro. know what I mean? Home like Alone too, Home like Alone shit, with <laughs> with the Christmas tree lights oh, on man. and the presents under there. Yeah. So you know what I mean? I was thinking like, damn, I'm a, you know what I'm gonna ask them? What's uh one of y'all favorite Christmas movies? Uh, what's yours? What's yours, Sean? Oh, um, Home Alone too is my yeah. number one. Right, right. And then to. it's a Christmas story. Yeah, I was gonna Christmas say story. that. Yeah, Christmas story. Yeah, you know, I think I go back further. Though. I think I I think mine is like Holiday Inn, something like that. Way back, okay. you know, Damn, or yeah. Wonderful I'm, Life. Like oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something something new, I guess. Yeah, I watched Hall. Actually, I watched Home Alone just recently. On my right. wife and I went on our honeymoon, and we watched it. I I don't know if I ever watched that show all the way through because she's because yeah, yeah. she did. That was her era. That right. was her movie, right? Okay, okay. Uh, the 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 Christmas story is my era. That's when that movie. Got came you. Out. And he, I you shoot your eye you, out, you kid. You sure, you sure, you're right. Right. the lamp. Yeah, you sure your era, your era is not Miracle oh, on yeah. 34th Street? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Pretty close. Pretty close. That was, yeah, so close. So I remember my parents, for the first time, took me to a theater to watch a movie. Because I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and we didn't have a lot of money, so it was a big deal to go watch a movie in a theater. So my dad took me for the first time to watch my first movie, and he thought, he, he's old school, so he wants a nice Christmas movie. You know, right. like Miracle on 34th Street. Like right. he, so we see this movie, and he thought... What kind of Christmas movie is that? So I got a leg lamp and it's with these random. He yeah. was hoping for a nice homey. Kind right. of, you know, when I was older, yeah, right. so he's like, he thought he wasted his money, and now that movie is like iconic. Yeah, isn't that how funny it is? Now wow. my first movie I ever got to see in a movie theater. My dad wanted to have this nice Christmas oh, wow. happy thing, and it was like this. That's a good experience, you know? though. Your first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my dad didn't feel so, but I thought, yeah, I thought it was great. <laughs> but then my wife's is Home Alone. That's her big movie, and I yeah. finally watched the whole thing through, and it's really funny. I love Joe Pesci in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot he was in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he was yeah. fucking yeah. them up, man. Yeah, yeah. So funny, right? A really, really good actor. Oh, he can yeah. make the corny, yeah. but still tough. It was, yeah. It was perfect. And yeah. Macaulay Culkin, he was so cute back then. Like, yeah. He really was bang on. Now, I mean, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. you know, but he was unbelievable back he then. He was. He was perfect for mm -hmm. that role. That was a, that's yeah. an iconic. Yeah. You know, I'll be seeing they have like, they like on Home Alone 15 and yeah. shit. I'm like, man, what? Yeah. They keep leaving Kevin? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Kevin's like 65. Yeah. He's like, still leaving me. You know, you can, you know, Kevin you can, in the fucking retirement yeah, home. Still, we, we love Kevin at the retirement <laughs> That would be a great SNL parody. Wouldn't that be yeah, great? that would. That yeah. would. And next thing you're going to see him is on, on the, what, Grumpy Men, uh, Grumpy, yeah. Grumpy Men sequel? That's right. Yeah. Oh, man. So uh, yeah. what you got coming up, bro? 
I'm, uh, I'm back at my shows here in Vegas, so I'm doing uh, Tropicana, and I'm also oh, in the show nice. Fantasy at Luxor, which okay. I'm doing a guest spot in that. Um, and I'm heading to California this week for some shows in, in uh, just above San Francisco, Corning, Corning, California. Okay. We're back doing holiday shows here, and then television-wise, uh, we got a Christmas special on CW coming out called Masters of Illusion. Nice. Uh, it's going to be wow. December 22nd, 8 okay. p.m. on CW. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. That's yeah. Insane. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to be, um, of course, Pawn Stars, whenever it airs. It just airs every day, so wherever yeah. you see yeah, it, watch it. And then July, uh, J- January 14th, I'm going to be on uh, Judge Jerry. Jerry Spreader's Damn! new show. Uh, uh, Judge Jerry, Judge that Jerry. is, you know the commercial. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, Judge Jerry, yeah, I'll yeah. be trying to get a nap and shit, and that always. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. So you gonna be on Judge Jerry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to that, man. Yeah, ain't gonna be no fighting. Is it? I don't right. think so. You never know. You never know. I might, I might oh, get my, I might get my guns out. <laughs> Your That's magic guns. Exactly. Yeah. That's what's up, man. A lot going on, man. Yeah. Blessings, man. Great, man. It's good to see yeah. you know. Thanks the, for the having prosperity. me. Prosperity. I love it, man. I love it. That's so, good. um, you know what, Sean? What's up? I'm a regret to do this, but I gotta do this because this is almost about that time for what that tastes like. <laughs> what it tastes like. So, check it out, Murray. Okay. I got this bag, right? Yep. Like it. Ain't no magic happening with me <laughs> doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's but bag. <laughs> <laughs> in this bag, we have labels and all these labels are flavors of soda okay and whichever one you pull out all three of us will be partaking all right there you go. y'all ready to get yeah, this on? Do you have a drum roll let's drum do roll. this let's do this hold on let's get this straight hold on <laughs> all right we're gonna just do it like this no drum roll. Let's put it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we came out pretty light on okay. that. We came out pretty light yeah. on that. We got the bazooka. Okay. We got the bazooka. Okay. So right. that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that bacon was not fun. I think we should go for something else. All right. No. I think I think we should do two out of three. All right. That's too. That's too right. easy. <laughs> we all had the bazooka. <laughs> Ah, here you go. Pickle ah. flavored <laughs> Thanks soda. Lot, now we're uh, talking. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to really have to take a shot after that. <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, this might be good, though, if you, you ever drink a pickle back before. Oh, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah Jameson right. with the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But... I don't know. You picking a pickle or you're good? <laughs> we lost you there for a second. I fell in the bag. <laughs> and he's back. All right, man. So here we go, man. Shout out uh, Bagel Mania. That's where I go get these drinks from. So I'm going to open this up. Y'all ready? Let's yep. do it. Hopefully this shit don't spill on me. I smell like pickle pickles. <laughs> pickle soda. <laughs> it could be worse. PSK, you got a, can you grab me something over there? <laughs> so I can open this motherfucker. Uh, pop that. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I thought you shouldn't bite that motherfucker. <laughs> okay, there we go. Booyah! You're a pro. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, the, where the cups at, gentlemen? Cups? Um, okay. No, we still got this. I got still my, No, we got cups. I got cups. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got you. Here we go. There you go. Playing bartender and everything. Yeah. So all good nice. though. You Ooh, shit. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you pour your own troubles. <laughs> Pickle Thanks. flavor soda. And people buy this, right? Yeah. Mm. Shit, five dollars a bottle, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, All right, so PHK, you ain't you ain't partaking, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. so you want to go first or you want to go I'll at the go same first. time? All All right. Right. Let's go for, let's go same time. Same time. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. Yuck! That's like a sweet pickle. It's not bad. I'm good. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all still drinking it. I, I feel like it tastes like it bazooka. Tastes like a- <laughs> <laughs> what does pickle it's, taste like bazooka? It tastes like... They all taste like bazooka? <laughs> you, Did your bacon one taste like bazooka? No. The bacon one is the worst. <laughs> Sean, come on, one more sip. It's one more cotton sip. candy, I feel. One more sip, Sean. All right. No. I, I probably wouldn't spend five bucks for it. I mean, you know what I think? It's a sweet pickle, but it's like... <laughs> really? It's <laughs> a sweet pickle. <laughs> Is that my radio name? It's my radio name. Sweet pickle. I think, I think that's what they call you about Sweet Pickle. Is that my name in town? Hey, Sweet Pickle. Holy shit, I'm good Sweet with that. Pickle. <laughs> Sweet Pickle. That's so funny ass shit. That's what's up, man. Ah, oh, man, I got a uh, did you know question for y'all real quick. Um, do y'all know what's the longest running television show in history? It's got to be, I don't know, Lassie or something or... Bonanza. <laughs> I, know. I, th- I know now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Meet the press, right? Nope. No? No. Nah, just- <laughs> but number two is The Simpsons, man. That's crazy because How many I, episodes? Uh, Meet the Press is like uh, 73 years of uh, episodes. Oh, wow. And then Simpsons? Uh, the Simpsons, like uh, 50. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 I got, the Simpsons is like twenty three though. For yeah, real. I got the collection on DVD. So oh really? yeah. Yeah, yeah, on DVD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, that's crazy. I mean, seventy three years. I mean, you guys are both entertainers, man. Like, yeah. can you imagine doing the show for? I mean, years. even fifty years. You know what I'm saying? But that's a long time. Seventy three yeah. years. Wow. Isn't that great? Just printing yeah. money. Yeah. What the hell are they yeah, talking about real. on that show? I mean, yeah. look, I mean, shit, they be having predictions and stuff like that. For real? Yeah. You watched it before? Yeah. What, Simpsons? No, no, Meet the Press. Oh, Meet the Press. No, hell. Yeah. No. I've watched That's it a couple saying. times. You watched it know, before? A couple times, yeah. Okay. And what, there's the news and shit? Or yeah. What? I mean, when they talk about topical stuff all the time, you know, when coronavirus started, it was a big, you know, they had the charts and the graphs and the... Mm. Oh, and okay. Still, even they would kind of cross over. You know okay. I mean? but, okay. You know, but they ask questions that people kind of don't want to say, but they do, you know? So okay. That kind of thing. Hey, let's do a shot to get this taste uh, yeah, from yeah. that pickle. Do that shot? Let's do this real quick. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a killer. <laughs> you, 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 got, you still got something yeah, got, good? Yeah. All right, yeah, let's do it, man. Right. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. for sure. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <sighs> you know, that helped a lot, a lot, man, you know? Strong. Because mm. I was still <laughs> tasting that sweet pickle, Ooh. like Sean said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I ain't never said that. Yo, uh, so um, I got another uh, thing that I do. Um, it's called Rapid Questions. And uh, you know what? I'm going to just bring that same flow back for that right there. I'm going to mm-hmm. ask you a couple questions. And then you tell me yay or nay out of the two people. All right. So we're going to start this off like this. I'm going to give it to you real easy, though. Okay. Michael Jackson or Prince? That's a hard question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Prince. Prince? Home Alone or a Christmas Story? Christmas Story. You just gave me that one. If you could stay in any one of these houses, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or the Home Alone house? Fresh Prince. Oh, yeah, that probably would be cool. <laughs> you a morning type of guy or nighttime type of guy? Nighttime. Nighttime, nighttime. Steak or lobster? Steak. Steak, yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. This one had a nice one, that STK. That was nice. Right? Yeah. <sighs> wine or whiskey? Wine. Oh, yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah I went down and that. I can last down. longer. I can last longer than wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> creep so up on you, though. Yeah. It'd be yeah. whoop. <laughs> so if you could walk around naked, if you could, or walking around with clothes? Naked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> still at my Instagram. <laughs> Can't get away with that. <laughs> Christmas or Halloween? Christmas. Okay, yeah, for sure. Las Vegas or Times Square? Mm, that's hard. Yeah, that's, that's hard. a real tough one right there. I'd say because I live here, it's my home. I'd say Las Vegas. Okay, okay. Just because it's comfortable. Okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm absolutely. a dog guy. Absolutely. Yeah, I got three of them. Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A boat or jumping on the motorcycle? Boat. A burger or a taco? Taco. Okay, that's cool, taco. Yeah. 
coffee or some tea? Coffee. Coffee in the morning. Yep. Magic or comedy? Comedy. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Every time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Europe or Asia? Europe. Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, aunts and uncles, that was another episode of Rapid Questions. My man Murray, you done a great job. Thank you, thank you. I think you passed the test. Yeah, I think you passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man, no doubt. Yeah, some of those questions like um, the Michael Jackson and Prince one, that's a pretty tough one for me too. It was like, yeah. yeah. But I think I will go Michael Jackson over Prince just because I know a shit ton more of Michael Jackson music yes. than Prince. But the ones that I do know of Prince is, you know, because I'm from the Midwest. Sure, so of course. So yeah. my parents was playing that shit nonstop, watching yep. Purple Rain and shit. I'm yep. like, damn. So I grew up off of that too, man. So It's interesting, it? yeah. Because right. they're, they're, with Prince's music and, like, Michael's mic music, it's almost timeless. Yeah, like, it is. It's not really like, oh, that's the it 70s. Is. It's almost it like is. Jimmy Buffett. There's no time for his music either. Yeah, it's right. like it's just either it's his music or not. It's kind of interesting where certain people are like, oh, that's 70s, that's 80s. Their music kind of just, it's still played now and it's still played. And it still and sounds good. Never die. Totally, right? Never die. Yeah. I just went to the uh, Michael Jackson show out here on the Strip How where I it? took my uncle. Like oh, the, this is my fifth time going. Okay. And, Which one? The Cirque Soleil and uh, the uh, one. Yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. Great. And um, every time I still feel like it's the, I, I can go three times a month, to be honest. Yeah. That's how much I like Mike music right. and the show. So, uh, it's so well written, though. Yeah. Like, he just kind of just hit what humans like to move to yeah listen to or just he just he's just Dang, ahead, ahead of his time to, um, yeah uh, check prince out when he was out here you know what i never did you know and i remember he was at the rio right uh for a while and i thought oh, i'll see he's young you know i thought right, i'll see right. him well, he's not gonna go anywhere now right. because of that because uh, most people have that story with elvis like, oh i wish i would have seen elvis because i didn't realize i'm gonna die mm. it's like well i never want to have that happen and now i got a story with prince i could have went there many times you know yeah. and I, I never was super cool i remember <laughs> he used to have a band play on his nights off because he had kind of owned that room for that period of time and he was up in his suite and i guess one of the bands was five six piece guys playing young kids and he wanted to see who was on the stage it wasn't his night to work he was just there and he took the elevator down and i guess he was standing stage right for watching the guys play and the audience was loving it and he, he watched them for about half an hour and realized they're just awesome so right as soon as they finished the song he just walks out <laughs> no not in, in, introduced and he's like hey man give me your guitar you got another one he said but grab it grab it so I hope you know so much shit. Dang. And so he turned around, he looked at the drummer, and he got it going, and he's played for 45 minutes. Wow. And he says, there you go, man. Thanks. There's, a, there's your education. And he went back to his room, went to sleep. That was it. Dang. And you guys like, did that thing just happen? Right. So, but that's, that's you know, I think Michael and Prince both had those qualities where they, they just had that. I find pr Michael Jackson is an artist, but he was also more, more commercial, whereas yeah. Prince was, you know, yeah. was... I'm more of an artist. Yeah, an artist. And he just did things kind of in his, quietly in that, you know. And more all producer, that stuff. almost like yeah. of, uh, a Rick James. To exactly, yeah. Whereas Michael, of course, is just, he was Elvis, you know, pretty much. He's, he was, Facts. you know, that kind of thing, you know. Like so. the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, totally. Like, it's right. just, he was bigger than the pres any president in any country, the Pope, you know. Yeah. yeah. Bigger than kings and queens. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Can you imagine yeah. Michael now with social media the way it is now if he had an Instagram it's or if Twitter? Uh, I know. Wow. I, well, imagine that if it was in the 80s when yeah, he was really rocking. Right. In the gym, exactly. you know, oh my god, it'd be a lot that's, of stars would be a lot bigger, or some wouldn't even be as big. It's interesting, right? that's facts. Yeah, it's the way you look at it. Well, I, I, I like the I like the fact that it was like more like exclusivity, you know what I'm saying? Of it, it makes it more powerful, you know, mm -hmm. instead of everything just being leaked. It's like the things you don't know, yeah, it's more mysterious, it yes. makes it more, um, uh, more valuable, you know, yeah. Um, so I think. Things are perfect for the, the time, you know what I'm saying? So things are meant to be yep. for a reason, yep. and it worked out. Yeah, because if you're too accessible now, right. sometimes now there's no mystery. Like you yep. said, the cool things when you did see a star at an airport or on a red carpet, you couldn't believe you were seeing right. them because yep. there was no other way else to see yep. them unless there was a news article or a movie. Right. And now it's kind of like... Yeah. I think Jay-Z you know, and uh, Beyonce do it. Well, Jay-Z do a good job of that. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. he's smart for not having yeah. a you don't see a, Yeah, you don't see it yeah. as much like that. A lot you know of acts I mean? do that, yeah. So and he doesn't have to. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, because, you, you know... Yeah. yeah. You know. Man, um... Murray, can you teach me a magic trick, please? Sure. <laughs> so I can sure. make my kids be like, ooh, it's a cool dad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what's yeah. up, That's the man. only thing that's missing from you being cool. Yeah, yeah. if yeah. I get a magic <laughs> trick, maybe my, my daughters, my sons, I don't know about them. But my daughters, I seen you had show do how you did the cam one on there. That's that right. was pretty cool because I yep. was like, what 
the hell? Hold on. How you do mm-hmm. that? And then I also saw when you made the big uh, steel uh, train, train disappear. Yeah, train on oh, America's man. Got Talent. That's yeah. crazy, yeah. man. You did do that. That yeah. was That's fun. Up, man. I remember when I did that thing, too. I, w- I got put through to the next round, and they, they called me the next day saying, what would you do next? And I said, well, give me about five minutes. I, I'm not sure. I was sitting at the Ivy in L.A. having lunch, and I said, I'm not sure. And my buddy was sitting with me, left to use my guest act in my show. He said, why don't you do something emotional? Like, you, your life was good, so you have nothing. Because those shows like that, you know, yeah. rags to riches. I'm like, I didn't really have that. I wasn't mm-hmm. rich, but I wasn't poor, you know. Right, right. So I said, you need to figure out something. So once you have an angle of that, you never worked for the railway. Because my whole family worked for the railway. That's that they were trained people. Mm-hmm. And I was the only one that didn't have a real job like that. I left mm-hmm. and was a magician. And so uh, they did this whole bit where that I left. I was the black sheep in the family because I left. Mm-hmm. I left my family heritage of doing the railway stuff wow, to go dude. do this. Mm. And that was kind of, the, they're trying to, you know, make it sad or something like that. So I said, well, I'm going to vanish. Well, what if I vanish my dad's train, his actual train he worked on when he was 18 years old. He used to grease the wheels and shovel coal in the engine. And said, it'd be amazing. You can do this. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So he said, well, oh, we're going to need you to do it in, in either in seven days or 14. I said, ah, uh-uh, it's got to be 14. I said, cause I, I can't do it this week. I got to do it the following week. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I never had, I didn't know. I just, a good idea. I didn't mm-hmm. know. I said, I knew to do it. So I hang up the phone. They go, great. They called back. They approved for the cost of it all. And this is great. Uh, you're probably going to shoot in the next uh, six days. I'm like, Dang. six days. I, so literally I went home and I started trying to help how to make a train vanish like in my way. And I went out to Boulder City here, which is a little town just away from Vegas here, to find trains so I could actually find one that I could use to vanish, found it. And then literally before we were, we were taping, we did a tech in the afternoon, and then we taped the next day. And I was trying to pull a cloth off the train. We covered the train up with a cloth, huge real train, and then I p- would p- the train would be lifted off the ground five feet, and then I'd pull a cloth and the train would be gone. And I'm telling you right now, we must have worked in that parking lot at CBS Studios for seven hours trying to get this cloth to pull off a little scaffolding. It looks easy. Right. And when, you, when you've never done it before, right. and the train ha- didn't have to be there. Like, I got to make the train disappear, right? And so mm-hmm. I was trying to get the cloth off and the, and the train gone at the same time. And every time we did it, it wasn't working. So when I actually did it on that video, if you ever watched it online, I pulled the cloth and I turned to look back to see the train gone. You look at my face when I turn back to the audience. I'm so relieved that there's no train behind me anymore. <laughs> because during practice, we could not get it right. Because I wanted to be really quick. Yeah. Either I'd pull a cloth too soon, you'd see still the train there, or it was too late, and it was, you know. And so, anyways, if you look at my expression of my face, you see this relief going, thank God it worked. But it was perfect, you know? though. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, thank yeah, God. That's, that's live TV. That yeah. wasn't ta- no, it wasn't taped to live. It was live, live. Oh, so, man. so whatever happens, you know, it's it's out. So that's, Damn. yeah. So anyways, I'm glad it happened. I'll never do it again. Oh, make S dot disappear real. <laughs> Quick, you know? just like, <laughs> make me make Where'd me invisible. Go? <laughs> yeah. you go? I go straight to the bank. You go? go to the bank and just be walking out <laughs> yeah. with some, some, some money floating in the air. Oh Same. man, you know what's crazy? Uh, <laughs> speaking of money, man, check this out, man. It's uh, I think it's about time to get into another episode of Live News with PLAZ. So, speaking of money, there is a man. He's sentenced to 3.5 years in prison for using his girl's facial recognition to steal more than $23,000 from her. So basically what this guy was doing was when she was asleep, he was lifting her eyelids up and he was getting into her bank account and transferring money to her account. Yeah, that's still a <laughs> that's a duh. that's a hard sleeper. I mean, if somebody's grabbing my eyelids. If you grab my eyelids, I'm probably gonna be hitting you. You know, oh, yeah, you must have gave her a pill or something. Like you try to something. grab my eyelids when I'm sleeping <laughs> <laughs> to read my phone Back. numbers. Like, yeah, man, he must, have, he, must have, he must have did a pill Cosby on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> damn. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. man, that's crazy, man. I you mean, get the phone and keep the eyes open, yeah. right? So you got one hand on the eyelid, right? One, what you got your heel on the bottom eyelid? And you got the phone. <laughs> what do you, I mean, that's not easy. Right? That's a hell of a trick, right, right? there. Like, to get, you know. So yeah, you get both um, eyes, don't you? <laughs> uh, Three point five years down the drain for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> yeah, wow. what a loser, bro. You in and you Just lose, act up for somebody. God. Yeah, <laughs> hey, come on now. You can do that. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Um, also, man, y'all ever hear of Hannibal, a.k.a. the Blood Hunter? 
I don't know. Wow. I'm not sure if I have. That's a hell of I'm a name. I'm not sure if I want to. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a name, man. So, um, yeah, right. It's a statement. It's a commitment. <laughs> look, I'm going to uh, have y'all look up at the screen, man, so I can show y'all who Animal is. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I, I really don't want to give him too much love, but I got to I gotta show y'all this. So it's going to be on <laughs> this screen. Okay, here we go. I'm on this screen right here. <laughs> so there you go right there. So check out Animal once that the wrestler. Yeah. So he's that's not that's not another wrestler that he got down. That's the ref, right? That's the ref. <laughs> so what the <laughs> what? this guy last weekend in um Irvin, Texas, after winning the match, he gets mad at the referee and immediately started choking him and stabbing him in his head. And, and scratching him and left him in a pool of blood at the wow. wrestling site. Everybody was just sitting there watching. And like he really, he really, wow. yeah, he's really. Uh, so he's out for a while. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure but he I, done. But I think he won. I think he won. <laughs> he definitely won. <laughs> Zero for the ref. Yeah, I think he was. Nah, nah, he lost. But he the, uh, lost I mean, the good news is the ref, he's okay. You know what I'm saying? He do have stitches and stuff in his head. But, man, um, people yeah. losing their goddamn mind. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah, right? like, wow. I'm speechless. I'm trying to get the ref's facial recognition. <laughs> the, the, some good news, though, Um, I heard that Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent is tuned, uh, teaming up to uh, put out the uh, Murder Was the Case yeah. drama series. So yeah. um, that's something for it to look for. That's something They're to look capitalizing off of everything man, right now. Why man, why not, man? I Green mean, light. shit, yeah. that was history, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It so was. That, that's going to be something. That would have been a rap for him. <laughs> that would have made be. a statement with him. Yeah. You know? And that would have stopped all the greatness of Snoop Dogg. And, uh, and other rappers as well. Wow, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would have changed a lot in the culture. Yeah. Oh, wow, man. That's crazy. So, yeah, I'm definitely um, looking forward to seeing that. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, The Matrix uh, Resurrections is coming out on uh, December 22nd. Yeah. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be in theaters and on HBO Max. But um, Neo going to be in it. But uh, you remember Morpheus, but Morpheus, he, he can't be Lawrence Fishburne no more. He, Why not? He can't move like that, man. It's motherfucker. He, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey it's, it's, it's a computer like graphic movie. Nah, so. hell <laughs> nah. He <laughs> can't do it. But, you know, they got good people in there like um, Neil Patrick Harris is going to be in there. Yeah. Um, Jada Pickett Smith is going to be in there. And, of course, uh, our boy Keanu Reeves. So Jada Pickett going to be looking like she was in, what, Tell Us From The Crypt, Bordeaux. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and all that? <laughs> that's crazy man um yo but you know murray man i just want to say uh it's a pleasure man thanks for coming to hang out with us bro thanks for having me on you guys are awesome sipping some pickle uh soda <laughs> pickle juice, pickle juice. Sweet yeah. pickle. some sweet, sweet pickle. pickles <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna let you get off of that one, Sean. Um, but yeah, man, thanks, bro. We appreciate the time. Thank Anything you. Anything you want to say to the people that's uh, checking out? I just uh, be safe out there, be healthy, and uh, treat everybody right. That's it, man. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, and uh, let us know uh, what times and days your shows is. Oh yeah, yeah. Here in Vegas, Tropicana, four o'clock every day, and over at Fantasy at the Luxor, which is a more sexier show, um, mm -hmm. uh, ten thirty every night. So. Check That's us out. That's and you can up. find him at Murray Suck. Uh, yep. so yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Right, what are you about, Sweet Pickle? <laughs> Sweet Pickle. <laughs> Sweetpickle.com. <laughs> No, it's like you can find me at. Oh, ain't uh, no telling yeah. what's gonna pop up. <laughs> <laughs> the kids don't Sweet know. SweetPickle.com. SweetPickle.com. <laughs> Sweet I gotta check it out, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna Murray check Man. it out right yeah. now, bro. Yeah, you gonna change the podcast to Sweet Pickle Podcast. <laughs> Sweet Pickle. Hey, baby, if you see this in my search history, yeah. <laughs> it's all I'm already for. <laughs> oh my good. Fires on your computer. Okay. <laughs> Sweetpickle.com. Okay. Uh, okay. It can't be reached. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let me I gotta buy that domain. Man, uh, so. Uh, got it right. See? Yep, there it is. It was right here started. S. Dot. Uh, <laughs> anything you got you want to say, man? You uh, want to say to the people? Yeah, happy holidays. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, you know for real. You dig them. Yep, no doubt. 
Shout out my man PHK in the building, man, out here chilling with us, man. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been another episode of The Laboratory with me, PLAZ. Thanks for tuning in, chiming in. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Until the next time, we'll see y'all later. Happy holidays. And we up out this piece. Let's go. Thank you.